Dear Christian, although, I'm not a Bible scholar, in my quest for truth, I started researching and studying the Bible and I saw all the Old and New Testaments contained errors, which means mistakes or inaccuracies, contradictions, which means statements that conflict each other, edited and additions from the original text, miracles that defy natural laws, and so forth, and I begin to doubt that. This was the Word of God. An example of a contradiction, is humanity made in God's image? According to Genesis 1 verse 26, then God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures, that move along the ground. However, it appears that we are not made in God-likeness according to Genesis 3 verse 22, and the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand, and take also from the tree of life and eat, and live forever. If we're made in God image and likeness in Genesis 1 verse 26, then how could we become like one of us in Genesis 3 verse 22, wouldn't we already be like one of them, if we are made in their image and likeness? Doesn't these verses contradict or conflict each other? On examining the New Testament carefully, we find numerous discrepancies and contradictions concerning the details of the life of Jesus. His birth is said, in the Matthew Gospel, to have occurred during the reign of Herod, who was made governor of Judea, a province of Syria, BC 40, under the imperial Anthony, and died at Jericho, BC 4, after a period of absence on account of illness from Jerusalem. In Luke the birth is said to have taken place when Quirinus, Serenius, was governor of Judea, 5 CE, and when Augustus was emperor, nine years at least after the death of Herod. An example of an Old Testament inaccuracy or an error occurs in Leviticus 11 verse 13 through 19 verse 13 These are the birds you are to detest, and not eat, because they are detestable, the eagle, the vulture, the black vulture, verse 14 the red kite, any kind of black kite, verse 15 any kind of raven. Verse 16 The horn owl, the screech owl, the gull, any kind of hawk, verse 17 The little owl, the cormorant, the great owl, verse 18 The white owl, the desert owl, the osprey, verse 19 The stork, any kind of heron, the hoopoe and the bat. The error is a bat is not a bird. An error or inaccuracy in the New Testament, is Matthew 13 verses 31 and 32 quoted Jesus, The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took, and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds. In fact, there are many plants that produce seeds which are much smaller than the mustard plant, it would seem, that the Son of God would know there are smaller seeds than a mustard, he could have simply said the kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of the smallest seed. An example of an addition, or editing in the Old Testament is Deuteronomy 34 verse 5 which states so Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord Moses, the alleged author of the Torah, describes his own death and burial, how is this possible? Examples of addition, and editing in the New Testament is Mark 16 verses 9 through 20, the oldest manuscripts do not have these verses, and so when was it added, and what else has been added or edited out? I don't think anything, an omnipotent, omniscient being say, or do can be contained in words, and it gives a limited idea about the nature of God. We should expect, that a message divinely revealed to man would be a unity, and not split into different portions, that each single part would corroborate and confirm the others, that contradictions would be absent, that the contents would be reconcilable with science, and that its morality should be perfect. The Bible does not condemn slavery, this would have definitely shown the Bible was ahead of its time. Unless God is okay with slavery, see Exodus 21 verses 1 through 11 and verse 26 through 28. Now, does the Holy Bible's revelation possess these characteristics? A lot of people worship the ideas the Bible gives them about God, but are they worshiping the Bible or God? An idea can be, just as much of an idol as an idol made of stone or wood. Please continue to my conclusions in part 7.